Happy Wednesday. Finding your champions. Who are those that support, rally, and encourage you to just be you? That, you know, um, that empower you. And sometimes it's, uh, you know, just their presence. Sometimes it's their words, their encouragement. Um, but I think as, as much as we need our champions around us, one of the most important you know, and I talk about this a lot because, and I need to nurture it within me is my own champion, faith in myself, um, faith in my own actions, you know, and I think we get there by the esteemable things, our esteemable actions of our, you know, of our being, of our now, of our recent past, right? Um, because if, you know, I was not always a person that had the most integrity. Um, I certainly chipped away at my own fundamental belief systems just to feed whatever I needed, whether it was my buzz or my, uh, um, you know, maybe my pocketbook. Um, but I needed, I did what I had to do to get by. And then as I grew older, I found more important, um, I found what was more important, right? Self-esteem. Um, doing esteemable acts, um, belief in self, love for self, faith in my own actions, you know, faith in my choices, that I know where my moral compass is, what I know to be true and right. And we all come up with, we all come up upon obstacles within life. That is life, the challenge, right? Suffering is life. We don't, we don't always get what we want, and that's just the truth. We're not always satisfied, <laughs> um, and that is the truth. And how do we transition between those uh, obstacles and, and our successes? You know, and maybe we have, you have a number of obstacles and you're still waiting for a success. How do you navigate that? How do you stay true to self? You know, and I think that it, it's certainly, we are empowered by those we surround ourselves with. We get to choose our families. We're born into a family and we choose our family. Who do we want to be surrounded by? You don't. Know, you, you don't necessarily pick, but then you learn to pick. That's our choice, our options. You know, we subconsciously nurture, and that is what is nurtured grows. So do you nurture, you know, the self-esteem, esteemable acts, acts love, compassion, Yeah, those are questions, you know? If you're always talking to yourself negatively, chances are that's gonna come out. Whether in your relationships, eventually I think it will come out. In the most tedious of situations, you will default to how you discuss and treat your own person. You know, I don't know. But faith in oneself, it starts with us. You know, I don't know if I rally behind the idea like love, like we, like let others love you until you love yourself. I think there is a bit of mirroring there and people can love you and you can then begin to learn to take those actions and apply them to yourself in the quietest moments when you're by yourself, you're with yourself the most. Um, and that love certainly benefits you if you it needs to be applied 24/7 you know and it's a, and it's a practice I, you know it's a practice 
It didn't always work. It still doesn't always work for me 24-7. I am still default to, you know, a drill sergeant or, um, you know, kind of my, my old paradigm of my father, disciplinarian kind of attitude. And then I shake out of that and I'm like, okay, you got to be loving. You know, treat myself like, you know, I treat, you know, a 10-year-old boy. Anyway, happy Wednesday. Much love.